Today's patron request is for the Mel Brooks movie High Anxiety. Does it stack up well with his other movies, or will High Anxiety be the first bust on this channel? First off, High Anxiety is still a Mel Brooks movie, which means it is funny, because it's filled with extremely clever yet very silly jokes that will give you a hearty chuckle. <laughs> that, that's what it sounds like, I think. One of the best jokes in this movie is whenever the camera is zooming in or out on a scene, but the camera is going too far and it causes a window to smash. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just silly. When it comes to movie satires, there are a few that can do it like Mel Brooks. The funniest thing about this movie, though, is its main villains, Nurse Diesel and Dr. Montague, who are played brilliantly by Cloris Leachman and Harvey Corman. Nurse Diesel is a super tough yet terrifying nurse, and Dr. Montague is the sly yet dumb-witted henchman of hers, and they have this really awkward BDSM relationship. You know, like, oh. Not that there's anything wrong with being into BDSM, it's just creepy when they do it. But just that relationship between these two villains will leave you laughing and grimacing at the same time. It's just, ugh, they do too much. The issue that you may have with High Anxiety, though, is that it's not as enticing as other Mel Brooks movies, like Blazing Saddles or Robin Hood Men in Tights. So you follow Dr. Thorndike, who's played by Mel Brooks, as he's falsely accused of murder, and when you compare what happens in this movie to what happens in Blazing Saddles, this movie will feel very tame, and that's not quite what you want out of a Mel Brooks movie. It is still funny, just not at the same level as other Mel Brooks movies, and you may catch yourself peeking at your watch like, all right, when's this thing gonna end? It also doesn't work that Mel Brooks is now the lead actor instead of just having a cameo. Mel Brooks is very funny, but he just doesn't have that presence, that gravitas as a lead actor to draw you in and make you interested in his character, because compared to everyone else in this movie, he's just a normal guy. So if you're going through a Mel Brooks marathon, you'll have a good time with High Anxiety, but it definitely won't be in your top three. High Anxiety is not what I wanted, but I'll take it, like sugar-free soda. A movie that will most likely be in your top three though is Blazing Saddles. Check out my review on it by clicking on the box right here, and if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you in a bit.